Five houses will be. Yeah, five houses will be. Are we obligated to do that? Are you obligated to do that? Is it, yes. Are the people obligated after they have the state to return back to the college? Are the people responsible for seeing that? Are they obligated to do that? That's law? up to the park. It's not the law. Oh, that's the law? An individual comes to you and borrows one of your tracks mm -hmm. to get it through mm -hmm. Is that individual? No. Okay. If it's a feral cat, they, I'm sure they have a source that they go eat somewhere. If you're not their source of food, then you don't have to be. So in other words, if nobody feeds them, they'll go away? Essentially, yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> any questions? Okay. All righty. Well, do you guys have any additional questions? Oh, yes. Animal Control doesn't provide TNR services. Who do you know is going to provide the actual TNR service for this park? I don't know who's going to provide it. That's a question for me. Yeah, they're going to be working with the private organization to get that figured out. With so who? Whatever you guys raise, we'll report that specifically. Yes. Um, with respect to the gentleman's question about where do you find TNR services? Uh, there is a 501c3, or was, called the Foundation for Homeless Cats. They okay. The website. That's the Foundation for Homeless Cats. <laughs> okay. If you contact them, they should be able to provide a referral. Oh, well, that's definitely information for the park right there. Yeah, there's a, I can't recommend anybody because if something goes south, and it's kind of, well, Mesa Animal Control said this, and now we're having a horrible time, so I can't refer anybody or any shelters or organizations just because I legally can't. If you guys have any additional questions, I'm going to be hanging out in the back. Um, and just feel free to come up and I can always be happy to help. Thank you so much. All right, guys, a couple more things along with that since it was brought up. Yes, we are looking for five people, that is it, that would like to volunteer to be TNR. Um, helpers. These are the only five people in the park that will be allowed to feed the cats in order to become to to have TNR come. If you would like to do that, we do have a sign up sheet over there by Dawn um, to be able to volunteer. We will ultimately pick those people. If you become a volunteer, you would like to back out. You are more than welcome to do so. Come to the office, and we will work on finding someone else. Um, yes, it is still against the rules and regulations to feed the cats, but in order to do TNR, I know we have to, Candace, hold up. I know it's against the rules and regulations to feed the cats, but um, in order to do TNR, you have to feed the cats. So I have conceded, and Diana is also aware, that we are allowing five people. Again, those must be the ones that we have approved in the office. I don't really care who they are, as long as we know who they are. I am also aware that there have been people poisoning the cats. That is not okay. If you know who they are, what lot this is uh, happening at, let us know, and we will take care of it to the best of our abilities. Because that's not okay either. Uh, so thank you guys for coming today. I appreciate it. Do you have any last minute questions for me? As a resident that is highly allergic to cats, I would not be able to open my windows if I live next to one of those five houses. Not necessarily. We do also have, we have all of these pamphlets up there. We've got three different flyers. Don? Don? We have a uh, best practices for feral cats. We have practices for keeping feral cats away. What else do we have? We have one other board, right? Oh. Uh, we have uh, just the law. The law on stray cats. So if you want any of this information, please let me know. Um, so that's absolutely okay. So I would recommend picking up a way to keep feral cats away so that way you can stay healthy in your home. The smell of the cats in that next house is going there. I understand, but there's, we can't kick cats away from where they are. As she was saying, we can't take them out of the park and kick them out. They will always be back. But if I know who's trapping them, it won't be your neighbor. I promise you, I know who you're referring to. Lawrence. Well, I did, I, I did address you that question out there in the hallway, and that is all, all animals. That's included all animals are supposed to be leashed. And that includes these people, except for maybe it's five now, but other people that are feeding these cats, 
Now they're going on and saying, because if you touch one of those cats, those people are going to say, those are my cats. If they have told you they are, they are their cats and they're outside, please let us know what lot numbers and we will take care of it in the office. That's a whole other issue. Um, okay. We know it's against rules and regulations. Cats, uh, all, all cats must, are required to be on leashes. So we will discuss that in the office if you'd like to bring those lot numbers to us. Okay, thank you. Candace, you got a question? <laughs> okay, fine. I have a question. I have a question. So what is, the, what is their tract repairs and release? Are the people feeding the cats have to stop feeding them, or are those are the five houses that continue to feed the cats that are brought back? If, if those people intend to continue to be a part of the TNR program, absolutely they continue to feed the cats. I'm just stating that that they, these people who are feeding must be a part of TNR. They can't just feed the cats to feed cats. They must be a part of the TNR. Will we be notified? Okay. Right. Kathy. Okay, if you're trying to ship to five are going to be the feeding cats for what steps have you done to prevent the people that are currently feeding the feral cats that are not the five? Then that's when we will go back to our lovely, lovely, everybody loves some rule reminders. And just a reminder with rule reminders, if you get more than three of them, I can technically file for eviction. I don't want to do that. Do not put me in that situation, but that is, the, that is what the law is with um, fair housing and how the rule reminders work in local parks. Now, I understand that, and maybe I'm wrong, but once a cat is fixed, you won't have issues with them spreading. Is that correct? Correct. Because I'll tell you what, there's a couple of places over near me. Anything I put in my driveway is free. Now, those are the boys. My backyard is, I can't even open a back window because of the smell from the urine and that. I would recommend picking up how to how to keep them away and what you can use, and so that way they will just they will, the spraying will slow down or stop in your in your little yeah, area. Vinegar, vinegar, um, vinegar, Epsom salt, dawn work. Mostly before I didn't have a good mm -hmm. But yeah, we hate the salt. I can't use my hand yet. Lawrence? Yeah, are we going to, is it going to be posted when we have the five people, of who those five people are? One, so that we know who they are, we don't bother them. And two, we know who is not supposed to be the cats. Um, if they consent to having their name released, I will not release somebody's name without their permission. Okay. okay. So if they consent to it, then yes, absolutely. Is the park going to furnish the food? Are we what? Going to furnish the food to feed you guys. Yeah. So we, are the, we, are, we are paying for the TNR. We will not be paying for the food. That's why we're asking for volunteers. That's why you are not required. I will never force anybody to do it. Because yes, you have to, to provide the food. Um, and of course, you can get traps from the city of Mesa, as they talked about. I could say that to stop feeding cats is working. There are a lot of thin cats running around. <laughs> well, we're not going to get into that. We don't want to upset anybody with cats, uh, with cats starving. Um, <laughs> any other questions regarding cats and the park? They probably go away. Yes, Dean. <laughs> How about the skirting on some of these things? Uh, these cats seem to push hard too much. They do, and unfortunately, that's not something we will be able to assist with. Um, if you uh, fortify your skirting, they can't push through it. Fortify it. Make it stronger. Yes, Lauren. Yeah, you can't not go because some of the buildings that have been vacated, some of the buildings are vacated, they have their skirting removed by. Yes, we do that. And, and, and then when we that. either fix the home, we fortify the skirting, or if we pull the home apart the ground. So, well, if they take the skirting away so that the cats get on they should put the skirting back so that we don't have it. We do, we do. And, and I'm, I am aware of what homes you're referring to. Okay. It's not done yet because they're not totally in possession of the park yet. That's a whole different conversation. Okay. Yes, All right. Candace. Maybe having more um, barbecue cat uh, events because it seems to be a big hit. I've never had cat before. <laughs> <laughs> We are going to have more events that have to do around, like I've been trying to do more community chats. I will be doing more of those because I have a lot more updates for you guys. And I will be hosting events that are catered to what you guys want to hear. Everybody's been worried about the cats. I've been telling you for a long time I don't want to hear it. 
This is why. Because we had this planned out for a little bit, and we wanted to make sure that we had all the correct information when we gave it to you guys. We don't want to give you the wrong information or mislead you in any sort of way. I will always be as open as I can with you guys as I always have been and will continue to do so. But I will never reveal names. Do not, do not try to get me to tell you who's next door or who's doing so and so. If they are have, uh, consented to having their name released, I will. Other than that, I won't release anything. Any other questions? When will this five houses start taking place? After they have submitted to us, probably, hopefully by May. Yes, yes, absolutely. Here you go. Hi, guys. First off, thanks for having us for lunch today. Very good. Um, one thing I just want to let you guys know tomorrow is the DEA National Prescription Take Back Day. Um, so, if you guys have any old prescriptions or inhalers or anything like that that you want to get rid of, they're expired. Uh, there's two locations. One, the closest one from here is going to be at the Walgreens at 1130 West Southern. Right there at home school in Southern. And also, I'll be at the Fry's grocery store 